Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe.
It's not yours. It's not clear and free. If you pay taxes on anything, it's not clear and free. It's not yours. That's right. You just been given permission and liberty to lease it out for a period of time. That's it. That's right. My brother, you got a mortgage. My brother with the black hat. You got a mortgage. You got a mortgage. Okay. Uh, my brother with the white hat. You got a mortgage. The Lord said, guess what? We should own ours. We should have dominion over ours. That's right. Meaning nobody could come in and exact any taxes from you. But that's not our fate today. Why? Why is that not our fate today? Why do we have to pay taxes? Now Solomon had dominion there, Booker. Solomon had dominion. Nobody could tell him what to do but God. But today we fall from that. What's our estate today, read? Really? Baruch chapter eight, uh, chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment. You hear that, my brother? Where's our homeland at? Real quick, where's our homeland? Because the Lord said we've been scattered, right? Hear this. Listen to this. What's this thing? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us. For a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment. You hear that? Where's our home in that? Because according to this scripture, the children of Israel, who I'm reading to you, myself, the black, the Spanish, the Native Indians, the Lord scattered us and put us in captivity. He put us in captivity, and he said in his captivity, what read it again? We are yet this day in our captivity. Are we in a captivity right now? Listen to this read. Where thou hast scattered us. The Lord scattered us here. Who was scattered? Look at the front of that flight. They're trying to give you pride. He was scattered. He was forced to be. Now, if you look at these other nations, they weren't scattered. They chose to be here. We didn't choose to be here. Did we choose to be here? Where's our home? What's our mother tongue? What's our mother language? Where's our home? Where's our mother tongue? Where's our mother language? How do we serve God the right way that He ordained for us to serve? Where's our home? How do we serve God the right way that He ordained for us to serve? How do we do that? We don't know because that has been taken away from us through slavery. Now, according to the thing that happened to those scattered and captured people, you read what happened. For a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payment. You hear that? We subject to payment. What is that going to do? Just to give you a clue. Taxes, just like you heard me when, I was, when you were walking up. Us paying taxes, that's one of the signs that we're not free. We are not free. We're trying to bring back freedom to our people. John 8, 32 said, you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You're going to know the truth that you're supposed to serve the Lord how he wants you to serve. Not going to the store on a Sabbath day. Today is a Sabbath day. You serve the Lord by doing all your shopping and buying any other day except Sunday. Otherwise, it's sin. But you know a little bit of something. You've seen us before? Nice. 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 Okay. Where did that come from? The nation is from. Islam, right? It's like this one. It's like the black branch on the right? Right. Where does Islam come from? Egypt? You said peace? Come on, come over here. I want to show you something. Pick that um that book up. We, it, it, it's funny. Well, it's not funny. The law works how the law works. We were just talking about this earlier. I want you to read some things in here. Uh, second Sora. Second Sora 122. I want you to hear this. Now, a child of Israel. I'm professing that you are a child of Israel, right? That's right. I can right. prove it through the scriptures. We can do it too. So for the sake of argument, just know that you're Israel, right? You're an Israelite. <laughs> an Israelite is supposed to move a certain type of way to please his God. Okay? Does the Quran tell an Israelite how he should worship his God? Or is the Quran a version of religion or control that the Arabs created? So the Arabs and the Israelites, they two different people. What we read in the Bible is not religion. The Lord didn't call Baptists Catholics. Right. Uh, he didn't call Arabs. He didn't call Muslims. Oh, it must not be any of that. He told us to obey him. Now, 
is the Sabbath though. It's the Sabbath day. That's right. And if you go into the store, you will be sinning. Before That's the Lord right. Today, go to the store after the sun goes down. Go to the store tomorrow. And if you if you can't wait, just wait like five, ten more minutes while we out here. We ain't gonna be out here all day. Just at least give the Lord the common courtesy to say, I'm gonna listen to your word, God, because I believe in you. Right. We not religious. Not religion is what I'm trying to tell you. Come here. Let me show you something. This is what religion taught. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look what religion taught. I want you to get that out your head that this religion, this ain't religion. Just because we read the Bible and we dressed in order, this ain't religion. But look, religion taught this. Who is this? White Jesus. You know that that's not true. Right? You know that that's not true. The Bible actually teaches his description. Right. So what you need to understand is, damn, religion, it takes things from the Bible and it flips it. It took the image of Christ that we see in Revelation and it flipped it. The Quran did the same thing. The Muslims or the Arabs did the same thing. Bring it out. was in the Bible and they flipped it. Okay? So we no, we not doing religion. We ain't teaching religion. Religion is a thing that divides. We trying to bring our people back together. Under the laws of God. Read this. In the Quran, uh, the book of the cow, verse 22, uh, 122. All children of Israel call to mind favor which I bestow upon you, that I made you excel the nations. He made you better than the nations. He That's made you right. excel the nations is what the Quran is confessing. That if we go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6, the Lord already said that. So why you gotta go to the re-rock? Why you gotta go to the reverse? Why you gotta go to the step on to get the truth? Go back to the source and see what God telling you to do. The Lord telling you to keep the Sabbath holy. That's what he's telling you. Go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So what he just said in here in the Quran is, I made you excellent. I made you excel all the other nations. I made you better than them. That's right. Read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. You hear that? The Lord said, you are, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are better than all the other nations. How That's dare right. you destroy your body with drugs and alcohol? How dare you continue to teach white supremacy? How dare you think of yourself as anything but the greatest? How dare you? The Lord said, who's going to stand up for the Lord and teach your people that you are the greatest thing to ever walk the earth? The Arabs know it. That's right. They had to... Take your Bible and we make sure to give it to you and slave. What is nation? Nation is men leading by example.